Only on five tonight, a six day old baby dead. The mother with eight other children says she killed the child on purpose. Well, her devastated husband says the root of the problem was severe mental illness. But according to those who know the family, there might have been another contributing factor, their religion. CBS 5's Rebecca Thomas with us now. You've been digging into this, trying to get the straight story on this, and you've got an exclusive look at this case. Right. We've had several people reach out to us, uh, former members of the Phoenix Lestadian Lutheran Church. Um, they've come forward. They want to tell their story. Uh, one of them agreed to talk with us on camera on the condition that we conceal his identity, which we have done. He says it boils down to brainwashing. Use birth control, even if it's a life or death situation for a woman, and you go straight to hell. Six days old. This former member of the Phoenix Lestadian Lutheran Church in Cave Creek broken up over the death of six day old Maya Hope Koistinen. Her mother, 36 year old Nina Koistinen, told Phoenix police she smothered the child because she had too many kids and was jealous of the attention her husband gave the infant. They're good people. Um, I mean, Nina, Nina had a, a psychotic break. Her husband, Brad Koistinen, echoed those same concerns to a judge during his wife's initial appearance. That Nina suffers from bipolar and schizophrenia and depression. And we have um, tried for years and years to manage it. Brad Koistinen told me off camera his wife has been in and out of mental hospitals during their 15 year marriage. Yet they continued to grow their family. Maya was baby number nine. Nobody ever said, you know what, Nina, you should stop having kids because you can't handle it and that's okay. You're still having acceptable. Instead, according to the sermon by lay pastor Eric Jermu from Mother's Day 2012, trying to control the number of children you have is a sin. There have been these kinds of occasions where the enemy has tempted some with practicing birth control. It is not according to God's word. It is not according to the teaching of God's kingdom. Somebody who, who's, who uses birth control is basically giving up their faith in a sense, and now they're going to hell. This former Lestadian says the church, its roots dating back to 19th century Finland and small in size in the U.S., is one you're born into. It says go forth and multiply in the, in the Bible. And I think that's one of the most commonly cited verses, but you know, that's a, that's a pretty um, uh, creative interpretation of go forth and multiply. He describes the Lestadian church as a closed culture. When you um, grow up in that environment and you're, these are your friends, these are your family, you don't have any really good friends outside of that environment. That social ostracization is uh, that's a real intense pressure. He feels if the Koistinins didn't believe they'd betray their religion by not having more children, Nina might not be behind bars facing a charge of first degree murder. I'll tell you this, she, she did the crime, but if it was a pillow, the church was stitching the threads, one thread at a time for her whole life. Now, I spoke with lay pastor Eric Jermu off camera this evening for about 45 minutes. He did not want to talk on camera. What he told me was God created Nina with her mental illness. He gave her all the children she could bear. And if she couldn't handle more kids, God would have closed her womb. I had many more questions for Jermu, which he did ask me to email him. I'm still waiting for his response, and I will share those with you in their entirety if he does respond. You know, certainly, Rebecca, just tragic and troubling. As far as the husband and all this, a big question has to be, if he knew his wife was sick, why did they continue having kids? Okay, well, you have to keep in mind, as they said, both the husband and the wife were born into this religion. Both of them believed that if they used birth control for any reason, even if it was to benefit a mother's uh, physical or mental health, they were betraying their religion and hell would be that option. Well, it doesn't sound like this story is over. It sounds like I'm sure we'll hear a lot more as it moves forward. Just Rebecca, the beginning. Yeah, Rebecca, thank you. We do want to point out that the Lestadian Church, not connected to the Lestadian mm -hmm. Church here in America. So the wants, Lutheran Church, the not Lutheran, the Lutheran Church here the in America. The Lestadian Lutheran mm -hmm. Church in America, that's correct. You want to stay with us here on CBS 5 for updates on this story. Rebecca, mm -hmm. thank you.